The secret is layers. It's basically three days that I'm wearing all of my clothes, one on top of the other. Yeah, it's cold. morning and welcome back to my channel it's thursday our second last day here in trom so we will go back to oslo tomorrow evening but today we have time for a new little adventure it's currently 8 47 and we are getting ready we already had breakfast now we're getting our last things together because at 9 30 we have to be at the entrance of the hotel because a bus is coming to pick us up for today's activity. Today's activity is a dog sledding excursion. We will be on a dog sledge, we will have a guide, so it will be a guide plus the two of us on this sledge with dogs and these are huskies. We have around one hour sledding and then we will be served warm lunch in a tent and also we will spend some time with the puppies, husky puppies. Oh, I'm so excited about it. This is gonna be so so cool there are many other dog sledding activity we have the one that it's a bit more relaxed and where we have the guy bringing us on the sled you also have the possibility to have your own sled so basically you are alone you don't have a guide so you self drive it there are a lot of options i can tell you everything when i'm back from the excursion because i wouldn't have enough time right now so i hope you enjoy it
beautiful sky today. the hotel what an amazing day that had been it was so nice to spend time with all those dogs they are so cute they love cuddles so much we booked this activity on Manawa but you can also book directly on the website of the organization of this tour which is Tromso Vilmax Center there are different type of activities you can choose from we chose the morning excursion so we were picked up from the hotel we drove around, I would say 40 minutes to this camp, which was absolutely beautiful. It's crazy what they did there. It was a proper Christmas village. I felt there we were given immediately thermal suits and boots as well. And that was great actually, because first of all, the thermal suits were really warm and it was perfect because you are outside sledding for an hour. And then also because when you go and cuddle the dogs, 
it might be that they jump on you so they maybe ruin your clothes so that was perfect because with these thermal suits you were protected we started immediately with the sledding ride and our guide was actually the founder of this of the place and her name is Tove and she is such an amazing woman she explained us how she started this whole business by herself and how she has basically done 19 times Europe longest sledding race and this year I think would be or next year it would be her 20th time and this would make her the first woman to have completed this sledding race for 20 times so I wish her the best of luck then we spent some time with the husky puppies they were so cute they were so cute they wanted so many cuddles they were so nice we also spent a lot of time actually with all the other dogs like there is a yard full of dogs and you can go there and say hi to them and they are such lovely dogs they loved receiving cuddles from us and they were so cute really then we had lunch and a delicious cake a delicious chocolate cake it was mm, that was so good i ate two pieces or three I don't remember anyway it was such a great experience you could really feel how much these people that work there love these dogs they are such cute dogs and they did something amazing during this pandemic of course there were no tourists so what they did they borrowed the dogs to families because they are amazing pets let me tell you they love cuddles so much and what they do now is you can adopt old dogs I mean all it means dogs that are not suitable for sledding anymore maybe they have back problems or I mean they're getting old of course and you can adopt one of them because they are such lovely companions let me tell you like I would adopt one of them immediately but my lifestyle doesn't allow me to have such a dog which is so full of energy I mean you really need to have the proper house you need to have time to spend with them but they are so cute I really would like to adopt one of them but if you want to know more follow them on their instagram page because they talk about it a lot they show sometimes these adoption stories that are so cute ah oh, i would like to adopt one of them as well anyway that's it for today's video i hope you liked it as always give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel see you in my next video bye